children, that public property will be damaged, and now there have been indicators throughout the social web that the Million Mask March was going to be met with violence. Now this information says Halloween as well. Now the reason I'm not showing you the document is because I don't know how valid it is. And there are links to people's Facebook accounts, etc. And I don't want to put them on blast because my feeling is this docs, the link that you're going to go to, which is a uh, Google Drive doc, um, it, it can't be validated. Okay, the the operation is called Op Expose. NLM slash 765 and those are supposedly the two groups that are going to cause all kinds of violence, destruction, and mayhem in the name of Anonymous to try to enact martial law. That's the boast of the document anyway. Um, and to destroy the name of Anonymous. Now, the only reason I'm really bringing this to you is to back up what I believe is going to happen on November 5th in D.C. I do not believe that this is going to be in every state. I don't think there's enough people to organize a violent, uh, you know, attack or protest in all 50 states. I don't believe that. I believe D.C. is the focus. But I'm bringing it to you because Halloween, that's when our kids are out there. And uh, if you're going to mess with the kids, you've really pissed me off, okay? Well, you play your sock puppetry, you, you, you harass people, you, you do those things, but you start fucking with the kids and the kids' space and the kids' time and the images that these kids need to carry for the rest of their lives, and now you've pissed me the fuck off. So, I'm going to link you to the doc. I hope anybody that, that is in the know will do some further research. But this is what I found, and this is why I believe this is bullshit to instigate a problem or maybe just to discredit potent activists within the movement. Because in the little while, the last hour or so, that I've spent doing a little bit of research, and I don't have a lot of time, for this, but there's a lot of credible people connected in one way or another, and I don't see any of them being violent. I've never known Anonymous to be violent in any way, and we cannot let anybody or any entity discredit the name of a movement that brought together every walk of life. The federal government has already tried this at the height of the anonymous hacker movement when they really worked to include everybody. And see, that's how a real society would work, right? We all have a little something to give. And we don't do it for the notoriety. We do it for the cause. So I'm not going to let anybody do anything that would discredit a movement that finally broke all the racial lines, all the barriers, financial, all of it. All of it was just dissolved with the idea of anonymous. You could fight for what was right. You could take action. You could become a part of something that truly is global. 
and we know that our federal government doesn't like that they don't want us connected not just our government governments of the world the ruling class does not want us together so this operation supposedly in the document you'll see right off the bat they tell you this is not how a normal op works there is there are no Twitter posts about this the only place the op is found is on Facebook which most of the credible anons I know don't even use Facebook anymore they use Twitter or other sources a lot of them are even fading away from social networking at all because of the spying and the censorship and all those things but we do still use some of these avenues to communicate and of course there are anonymous could apply to anybody right there's anonymous pedophiles there's anonymous everything under the sun but when you put that mask on in the name of anonymous that is something else that's humanity rising that's what it is Okay, I, I worry about the impression, if any of this is true, and we have groups of people masked as anonymous going out on Halloween, being destructive in front of our children, and according to the docs, children are being called to destroy property. We, we can't have any of this. I'm calling on all real anons on the night of Halloween and the Million Mask March. Remember your authority of the citizen's arrest. If you find anybody committing a criminal destructive act, get grab them, secure them, detain them, rip their mask off, take their wallet, find out who they are, do anything you can do to expose and stop the individuals. These are our towns. These are our societies. And we have a God-given right and responsibility to protect that. And a matter of fact, there is a law that says if you see a crime being committed and it's within your power to stop it and you do nothing, you can also be charged with a crime. So our laws give us a lot of power to protect ourselves, to defend our communities. I will say that this link came to me from somebody who is already uh, identified as, as a possible infiltrator. Somebody that likes to be involved with drama all the time. And this person doesn't really know me and sent me this information and made it like it was a hurried event that I must react on. You see, because these PSYOPs know that I, I react quickly. When I see a cause and I see a need, man, I'm there. Bam! I react on it. And they try to play on that quite a lot. Now, probably the person that sent me this assumed that I would read the whole thing and I would, sl you know, uh, by way of reading it, slander the people that are listed on this document and that I would react quickly because of the urgency of the violence in the children. They know what's dear to me. And if you've been an activist very long, they know what's dear to you, too. They're going to throw those stumbling blocks out in front of you. We must be wise as foxes. We must. Now, again, I don't have a lot of time to research all this. And I'm going to say this is a failed op. This, this is bullshit. But I don't want anybody to fully discredit it. I want you to keep it in the back of your mind and take action against anybody that would commit destructive or violent acts in the name of anonymous. In other words, in the name of humanity. Because every one of us is at one point in their life or another, anonymous. And that's the absolute truth. Unless, of course, <laughs> you're a politician. <laughs> anyway, the link to the Google Drive will be below. Um, 
And please, when you do your research, be fair-handed. Go slowly. Don't react quickly to anything within this document. And please share it with the appropriate people. Let them know what's going on. Some of them may not be aware yet. Much love. Many thanks. And if you're wise, you'll always expect me. You've got to put your body upon the gears and upon the wheels, upon the levers, upon all the apparatus, and you've got to make it stop. And you've got to indicate to the people who run it, to the people who own it.